It went you now. And at that time, two weeks before Christmas, this story begins. It begins on a Saturday morning, a day where I finally had a little bit more time to dedicate my hour. But before we start, I want to thank everyone for watching my last video. I had so much fun and I'm excited to continue. I really hope you enjoy watching this one. Started this oil study, I had actually painted an entire other portrait. I hated the outcome and I chose not to show it here. I had worked too fast and not at all intentional as always. So a few hours had passed between that painting and the one you see me paint here, and I had watched multiple videos by Our Painted Lives here on YouTube, and after that I felt inspired again. So in this painting I tried implementing his technique. I worked with a big brush and started by blocking out the dogs, and then slowly starting with the lights. This study wasn't supposed to be perfect. It was mostly just a way for me to get out of my head and try and think of big shapes when painting and not get too lost in the details. While I definitely wanted to while I definitely want to take some of what I learned from this video into my painting practice, I'm still unsure if I really want to work like that every time I paint. Because I also really enjoy working with smaller brushes and less paint, and working more in a way that you will see in the painting later this video. But I guess I will just have to figure out which technique I use every time I paint. Something super, super exciting just came and I'm so excited. Wait a second, I'm gonna open it for you. <laughs> These two books just came. They are reused art books and I'm so excited because I really wanted to like um, have some more people's guidance when doing art and I wanted to try and do master copies. And these are only the first ones that I bought. Um, I wanna buy some more about impressionism and few artists but this one is one that I definitely want to have. It does it is used and it looks used but that's okay I only paid like one euro for it. It's basically this artist and I'm so happy like oh. look at these paintings and then this one also came which is a book about um, doing figure drawings and I've been, I would love to take a figure drawing class somewhere or like a class where you have a real actual person and you're painting or drawing them but I don't have that available so I got this book and um, I'm so happy oh, but also generally I just really wanted to have like poses because I find it very hard to imagine poses and that makes me so happy. Look at that. It's just like all of that sketching and the human figure and oh, this is like the perfect book for me. And then some other things I wanted to show you, but I just need to put them away. That came yesterday are new art materials. I know I'm just showing you stuff that I bought, but <laughs> I really needed those. And first of all, something to clean my brushes. I have not got this and I've also got soap. I have not been able to really clean my oil painting brushes like ever and <laughs> it's not very good and you should probably do that. Then I got a palette knife because I want to get better at mixing colors and not mixing them with a brush and I just want to work cleaner. And I got some new oil colors and they look so pretty. And because mine are just, I'm just out of mine and they weren't even that expensive because they're college oil, oil colors and um, 
yeah i'm just excited because mine are dried out or just empty and then the other thing, the last thing is a palette because i've never really used a palette before i've always been working with um like i've always sort of used the Faber Castell pencil cases as my palette which is not ideal and not as big and I've got this huge look at that <laughs> so big I didn't know I imagined it to be that big it's this huge um, wooden palette that I can use to just mix my colors and separate them and I'm just excited to work clean and work intentional and I will do a study later I think I will do a um, drawing study and then I will go on and do a oil study and start a new oil painting, at least that's a plan, and I'm just very excited right now. some of the sketches I've done lately. I used to sketch a lot and I only worked with pencils but I haven't really done that in a while. So this is something that I want to practice since I really believe that your drawing skills influence your painting process. Also on this day the light hit my room in a beautiful way and I just thought I would share. this new project by preparing the canvas of gesso. I didn't do that the last few times and I wanted to know if it actually would improve my process. But then the gesso had to dry, so I decided to start another painting study. I wanted to work without a sketch and try to really be intentional with what colors I was using and where I put them. I really enjoy the way it came out in the end and I hope you do too. These last few weeks before Christmas, uni work has been a lot and I struggled with finding time to paint bigger paintings. But at last I was at least able to start a sketch of a new big painting this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a follow if you did. You will see the process of the big painting I started here in the next video.